this turtle if you did what kind of tennis did you do? At recess, I would be playing tag with my friends. After school, I would be playing tennis with my other friends and then also playing soccer with the group. When you were 10, I heard that you had your basement. So what did you do? I would play tennis against the wall. Other times I would watch movies with my family. And my favorite part is building forts with my younger sister, imagining a whole, a whole world. Did you play other sports? I played a little bit of baseball with my dad and sister. I also did a little bit of track and field for my school. I wanted to play volleyball, but I was too short and didn't have enough time in the day. <laughs> Who made the biggest impact on your development when you were a junior player? The one person who made a huge impact on my tennis development was my dad. He was always there on the tough moments when I was doubting myself and when other people didn't believe me. But he was always there to encourage me and to give me some motivating words to keep going and play tennis. How do you deal with the emotions before a match? I learn different ways, different techniques, how to deal with the emotions. I went through a phase where I would listen to music before my matches. Other times, I would just try and close my eyes and just imagine myself playing tennis, playing that match. For, for young girls, young players, is to try different things and exper experiment with them because you'll find one thing that's going to work for you. Do you remember when you were 11 or 12 how much you trained? And I actually made the decision that I wanted to be more of a ten tennis professional, play it more seriously. And that's when we started playing a little bit more tennis, maybe two hours a day, and then also 30 to 40 minutes of fitness. And that would just be running around the, around the track or even just doing a little bit of push-ups, sit-ups, trying to get the muscles building and the cardio up. How is the transition from junior to pro? It's the exact same thing. Lines are the same, the net will always be there. The only difference is the balls are gonna come in faster and a little heavier. So we just gotta train for that. And if we're able to, to, to find solutions in the juniors, we can find those solutions in the pros easily. Um, what got you into tennis? Was it just like out of the blue or were you like, was your family always planning on it? I wanted to be a soccer professional. I wanted to play soccer just like my dad, but um, he wanted me to find my own passion. So he introduced me to different sports and tennis was one of the last, the last few and I fell in love with it from the very first ball I hit. You lose a match. How do you manage your anger? After I lose a match, I do get angry and I do get sad. But those are normal emotions because that means you care about the sport. You care about what you're doing. So I, over the years, I learned how to be mad and then after 10 minutes, I start being happy and try to find the positive of what I did in my match. What would you ask your seven-year-old self before a match if you got nervous? Do not think about it as a tennis match, but think about it as just playing tennis with your parents and with your, with your friends. There you go. Thank you.